Hi everyone, you're watching RTT News. I'm Sarah Kajamko and here's your morning political update for Tuesday, May 18th. It's Super Primary Tuesday today. Pennsylvania, Arkansas and Kentucky determine the outcome of three competitive Senate races. Today's vote will test the strength of the Tea Party movement as well as determine whether the people want to give incumbents another shot. A closely watched showdown will be in Pennsylvania where Republican turned Democrat Arlen Specter hopes to keep his seat. In Afghanistan, a car was driven into a NATO convoy, killing 18 people this morning. The casualties included five Americans. The Taliban almost immediately claimed responsibility. The attack took place near Parliament and other government buildings, and at least 50 people were also seriously hurt. Civil rights groups filed a class action lawsuit this week against Arizona's new immigration law. The people fighting the legislation say it violates the U.S. Constitution and will lead to racial profiling. According to new law, police have the right to ask for identification from anyone they suspect might be in the country illegally. And new measures will go into effect this afternoon, allowing planes in Europe to fly under certain conditions. Thousands of flights have been delayed or canceled because of volcanic ash from Iceland. Up until this morning, authorities had no set rules about when it was safe for planes to fly or not. Just yesterday, thousands of more flights were canceled again because of the ash. There's your morning political roundup for Tuesday, May 18th. I'm Sarah Kajumko. Stay logged into RTTnews.com for more news updates throughout the day.